What's up, guys? It's Jay, more than I have to kill, and I'm back here on Destiny. And yesterday, Jer came to visit, but uh, not in game. Nope. Th th this dick face motherfucker ended up taking up to Instagram to post some pictures of some new gear that we could look forward to using in the Taken King. So I figured, you know what? But let's go ahead today and take a look at just exactly what this asshole was up to yesterday. So. First off, he showed off a weapon that Bungie has been teasing the last few weeks to be the quote-unquote year two replacement for the Yalahorn, and that's the Sleeper Simulant. Now, this is a fusion rifle that you equip in your heavy weapon slot, and for good reason. Because this damn thing fires lasers that not only penetrate through your enemies, but also bounces off walls and objects as well. Its exotic perk allows the laser to go from three bounces off objects up to five, making it a little bit more balanced than the Witch Doctor from Gotham City and Puzzlers. Those of you guys that remember playing a little bit of GCI back in the day, that gun could clear out a room in seconds, giving it good reason to not only limit the bounces of the projectiles, but by making this fusion rifle a heavy weapon, it stops it from being abused as a special secondary in PvP. So next up, we have another weapon. That's the Telesto. This is another fusion rifle that doesn't really rifle much fusion. Wait, what, Mac? <laughs> Instead, this gun shoots out bullet-style projectiles that attach to the enemy and then explode in void damage so fucking finally we are getting another exotic void weapon and yeah this this is destiny's version of the needler gun from halo it should be a pretty fun gun to play with i'm not sure exactly how useful it's gonna be but you know i, I was a big fan of the needler back in uh, halo so I, I, i'll give it a shot <laughs> so then last for the guns we have the chaperone which is a Tex Mechanica branded weapon, the same as the last word, and keeping with the gunslinging outlaw feel of the Tex Mechanica brand, we have a lever pull shotgun. It reloads and cocks the hammer with a stylish flip of the shotgun, kind of like what old Arnie was doing in Terminator 2, or for you younger guys, don't know about Terminator, how do you not know about Terminator? And Go watch fucking Terminator 2 right now, goddammit. <laughs> but also, uh, the 1887s for Modern Warfare 2 use the same animation from Terminator 2. So if you haven't seen Terminator 2, that's exactly the style of animation that we're going to be seeing is the, the old flip around of the shotgun. But this chaperone fires a single slug projectile and gives you an agility boost while using it. Kills with this weapon increase rate of fire handling range and stability it seems like bungie is saying in year two we don't mind if you have an op shotgun we're gonna give you an op shotgun but guess what we're just gonna make sure that you use up your exotic slot if you want an op shotgun you know what with all the thorns hawk moons and we got the uh last words out there i'm okay with that i'm okay with them putting in a really OP shotgun that you have to use your exotic slot on. But now we get to the gear that old dick face showed us. But before we do, I, I know there's going to be a lot of people in the comments that are going to be clanging, clacking back. These perks suck. Think they're trash. Why can't just keep the shit we got now? Play the game. <laughs> Motherfucker, I firmly believe that the gear that we're seeing is gear that's possibly upgraded year one exotic armors for year two. Kind, kind of how we saw them upgrade the Sirs regime to year two, and they got the new extra perks on them and a cool back in black paint job, right? You remember that? So uh, keep that in mind before you hear the perks for some of these armors, especially your warlocks out there. I'm pretty sure Zhur just came by to, to gather some more of your tears this week. <laughs> so... First for the armor is the Titan Exotic Helmet, the Empyrean Bellicose, which allows you to levitate in midair for a short period of time when you aim down sight. And we actually seen this being shown off 
in the game and former footage. It also allows you to recharge your melee ability by picking up orbs when you're already supercharged. And that's going to be a theme you're going to see on all three of these uh, gear types is that when you pick up orbs when you're already supercharged, this gear is going to allow you to get a little bit of extra, I guess, bonus from that because, you know, it, it, it's wasted orbs. It sucks that we can't pick up the orbs while we're supercharged. Like, yeah, we, we should get ultra mega supercharged. <laughs> but for the Warlocks, we have what could possibly be an upgrade for the Void Fang Vestments. And if it's not, then this is going to be one of the most underwhelming chess pieces I've ever seen since its perk gives you the chance to gain glimmer from collecting primary ammo off the ground. I don't have all this room for all this glimmer because it's certainly not kept at 25 fucking thousand, right? <laughs> That's some boosh. <laughs> but also, collected orbs while supercharged will immediately reset grenades and melee cooldowns, which actually isn't that bad, especially since, you know, Warlocks have some of the strongest melee and grenades in the goddamn game. And finally! The reason why I think all these armors are upgrades, we have the young Amakara remix. We've already got his mixtape from 2014. Now it's time to spit some hot fire in 2015. Get ready to hear the r r r r r r remix! <laughs> Seriously, look. these things look dangerous. They, they give you an extra melee recharge in reserve which i mean yeah take a look at the gunslinger yeah you get an extra throwing knife meh shadow stalker you get an extra smoke bomb all right now we're now we're getting a little bit warmer blade dancers blink strike backstab that procs from the front you get an extra melee charge of that ding 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 watch out in the crucible year two for a lot more in your face blade dancing Stabbing Hunters is having an extra blink strike with backstab proc. It's gonna be fucking insane! They need to fix that backstab proc, by the way. <laughs> also, causing melee damage will give you the chance to reload your primary, which not a bad deal, but I would have rather had one of those Orby things where I'm already supercharged and you take away my goddamn fucking grenade cooldown! But, uh, I guess they're just like, you know what? You get an extra fucking blink strike. Yeah, you're, you're fine with that. Leave it. <laughs> so, this is some of the gear that you can look forward into running with in year two of Destiny. I'm sure that we'll find out more in the next upcoming weeks from Bungie's live stream reveals, which happen every Wednesday. And today is Wednesday, so that, that happens today. So, who knows? There might be even more information available as you're fucking watching this. So my name is Jay. More than they have to kill. I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys rate, comment, and subscribe. If you could leave a thumbs up on the video, I'd highly appreciate it because it gives me motivation to make more videos for you motherfuckers that watch my motherfucking video. So we got to look at what could possibly be some upgrades for some of the year one exotic armors, but definitely three brand new weapons coming in the Taken Canyon. Can't wait to get my greedy little paws on them. Especially, especially that chaperone. Mm -mm -mm. I want to see exactly how badass that shotgun is. So, my name is Jay. What an after kill. Thanks for watching. And I'm going to see you guys later.